Hi all, my name is Saurabh and I'm a database specialist at Google Cloud. In a decade and a half long experience in databases, I've been in few disaster recovery situations caused by different disasters. And the main learning out of all these situations was incidents do happen. But what we as an engineers can do is plan the resiliency. In the next 10 minutes, let's try to understand the what, the why, and the how for DR strategies for databases. A disaster in simplest terms can be defined as a service interrupting event. And these service interrupting events, also referred as disasters, can be natural disasters, human errors, or even hardware failures. Natural disasters can be like hurricanes, floods, or earthquakes. Human errors could be like a bad configuration push or a bad deployment. Hardware failure can be any issues with the under, underneath infrastructure. Hardware failure is one of the most common causes of IT disasters. While today's hardware is more reliable than ever, the law of physics dictate that every device must age and eventually fail. The only question is when. And whenever either of these disasters strike, it can have significant impact on the business. The impact could be impacting the brand reputation, loss of clients, or if due to the disaster, any of the sensitive data that gets exposed, then the business could face steep financial and regulatory penalties. So how can we proactively prepare from these? We plan for a disaster through a disaster recovery plan. Disaster recovery plan is a combination of processes, policies, procedures, and key metrics that gives an organization the ability to recover all vital infrastructures, databases, applications, and services after a disaster, but in minimal time with minimal impact. But wait, how do we define or how do we quantify the minimal time and minimal impact as it can vary from one use case to another? Primarily, a DR strategy is defined using two key metrics. RPO and RTO. RPO is a recovery point objective, which is expressed in hours and represents how much data you could lose when a disaster happens. RTO is a recovery time objective, again expressed in hours and specify how many hours it takes you to recover to a working state after a disaster. So, the smaller the value of RPO and RTO are, the lesser is the data loss and the faster the business can recover from a disaster. Google Cloud as a DR site can help you in achieving RPO and RTO with minimal cost and maximum resiliency in comparison to being on any other cloud or on-premise. For example, a DR strategy requires you to account for a number of requirements, including capacity, security, network infrastructure, support, and presence in multiple geographical locations. Google Cloud has several features that helps bypass most of these complicated factors and reduces the cost for a robust DR strategy. Global network, Redundancy, scalability, security and compliance are few such factors. At present, Google Cloud is the only cloud provider to provide multi-zone and multi-region implementations in India. So if your application is hosted on Google Cloud or on-prem or on any other cloud, and if you're looking for a DR, cloud, DR solution, then Google Cloud can help you in achieving it. Let me give you an example. An e-commerce startup 
on GCP was leveraging single region cloud SQL and were using HA instance as a part of a DR strategy. Although having a HA instance for cloud SQL protected them from zone failures, but not from regional failures. Being on GCP and because of multi regions, multiple regions available um, on Google Cloud in India, we were able to redesign a DR strategy for them using cross region read replicas spanning across multiple regions in India, that is Mumbai and Delhi. This not only helped them to meet their RPO and RTO, but also gave them protection against region failures in addition to zone failures while meeting the data localization compliances. Data is a critical piece of your application and it is the primary factor impacting the recovery time and the recovery point in case of a disaster. Let me give an example. If you are relying on daily backups for restoring your database, then the recovery point will be the time when the last backup was successfully completed. Although it works, but it might not be acceptable in all the use cases. Similarly, if you are relying on logical backups for restoring your database, then the recovery time will be huge. Again, technically it would work, but might not be acceptable for all the use cases. So for minimal RPO and RTO, we need to be very careful in choosing the right methodology for restoring and recovering the databases. We at Google Cloud understand that one tool cannot be a solution for all the needs. So we have very thoughtfully chosen multiple tools that can help you in choosing the right tool to meet your key metrics. And these tools provide wide range of recovery options starting from daily scheduled backups, point in time recoveries to cross region read replicas that will help you in replicating your data across regions from either on-prem or from any other cloud provider. If you are already on GCP and leveraging GCP native databases, you can create cross region read replicas to get the best RP and RT. If you are hosted on-prem or on any other cloud, we do have native tools as well as partner tools like Strim that can help you in replicating the data across cloud, across regions with minimal RP and RT. Designing a DR plan is very important but testing it regularly is equally important to make sure that the DR plan works. Summarizing, please remember incidents do happen, but what we need to do is plan the resiliency through a robust DR plan. And we at Google Cloud can help you in designing and implementing an end-to-end -end robust DR plan. Please reach out to us in case you need any help in designing a robust DR plan for your databases and we would love to solve it together. Thank you.